Hey guys, Mike B. Rolling here again. Uh, I had a guy with a like a two-part question, and uh, I could do the second part here sitting in the truck. First part I'll probably do either later tonight or tomorrow uh, from home where I can make notes because it's a lot. <laughs> uh, this first one is about extra axles and hauling weight, and this guy was from Kentucky, and he wasn't aware that he could haul more weight with, with more axles. Uh, but he said without permits, and no, 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 you're allowed 80,000 pounds, period. That's it. That's it. You start going more axles, you have to buy an overweight permit through Kentucky and one in Ohio and one in Indiana, depending on where you're going. You have to have permits to be over 80,000 pounds. Uh, now, Kentucky, okay, the first, the first setup is picture your standard flatbed with your 10-foot spread on the back. That's a standard, you know, 40,000 pounds, you know, 20 per axle spread. Now, you put one axle in between those, you've got a cluster of three on your trailer, okay? With that, in Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio, you can haul up to 120,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. That's vehicle load, everything, gross weight. With a permit, you have to have that permit. <laughs> uh, Kentucky does annual permits, Indiana does single trip permits. Indiana quadrupled the price of their permits last year. Uh, just out of nowhere, man, quadrupled the price. Indiana permits are absurdly expensive now. Uh, but anyway, the, the three axle cluster can do up to 120. Now what you'll more, more commonly see is, rather than putting, let me go back to the two, <laughs> rather than having the two rear axles, they'll put a third one 10 foot so it's 10 foot spread 10 foot spread and have a three it's called a 310 spread which is three axles that are 10 feet apart right on the trailer and then your truck is your standard truck that's the same thing you can do up to 120,000 pounds with an overweight permit myself I have what's called a 410 spread I have four axles on my trailer that are 10 feet apart one starts right behind my dolly legs and goes 10 feet all the way to the back of the trailer and I can do the same weights in Indiana Ohio and Michigan or Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky, 120,000 pounds. Now in Michigan, if I could axle it, I could go more, but with a four axle, I can't really axle more than 120. So the only reason you would have four axles would be to run Michigan, because Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky will let you do it with a three axle, a cluster, or a 310 spread, but Michigan is an axle state. Michigan, with your clustered axles, only gives you 13, they give you Okay, Michigan is a crazy state. Up to 80,000 pounds. Okay, your standard truck up to 80,000 pounds. If you've got the 10 foot spread and in your standard, you know, dual truck with the steers, they will allow you 20,000 per axle on that 10 foot spread trailer. Up to 80,000 pounds. 80,001 pounds and above, they cut these 20,000s back to 18. There's why you have to have an, another axle to get another 18 a fourth axle to get another 18. Okay, does that make sense? You got 18, 18, 18, 18. Now, in Michigan, they have what's called sleds or nine quad nines or, you know, multiple variations of it. That's just where they go boop and they throw axles under the whole freaking thing. Uh, now, if your axles are clustered, which, you know, like an eight axle is gonna have a cluster of seven axles, nine foot spread, a single. What he can do on that is every one of those clustered axles is 13,000 per axle and then that one single with a nine foot spread, he can do 18. So it'd be six, or a seven, say an eight axle would be seven axles of 13,000 and one axle with 18,000. Uh, Michigan's just weird like that. But if you take a 310 spread into, there we go. <laughs> if you take a 310 spread into Michigan, which is, you know, 10 foot in between, you're allowed 18, 18, 18. You can only do like, I think 68,000 would be the most you could put on the deck before you would over, you would be overweight and over axle. Now, Michigan doesn't require any overweight permits. They require you set the weight on your IFTA registration where you'll, you'll anybody, owner op will know this, when you fill out the IFTA form, you have to put 80,000 pounds in every state, 48 states and then Canada, you know, you gotta fill out one by one. Well, Michigan, the way they want you to go overweight is, you go where it says Michigan, how much weight, you put 120,000, 130,000, whatever you wanna go up to, whatever your equipment can do with following their laws, that's, Michigan doesn't require permits. 
but Michigan is the worst state in the world to haul heavy in because it's very difficult to load those trailers dead accurate. And Michigan is an axle state. They want to weigh each individual axle and write you up for every single axle that's over. It just It's a real booger. A lot of guys that haul heavy and haul steel do not go to Michigan. They don't like it and they'll stay the heck out of Michigan just because the laws are so complex. That's why if you've watched a video I did earlier, it's if you want to succeed in business, you find what it is people don't want to do and you get good at it. That's why I go to Michigan. Nobody else wants to. More loads for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so in, yeah, in Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, all three have to have a permit. Ohio does quarterly permits. Indiana does single trip permits. One permit, one load, one trip. That's it. In Kentucky, I think they switched over. I think they're doing an annual. Kentucky actually, I believe, cut their annual permit from $1,200 down to $600, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think those are the numbers. I stay out of Kentucky. I, I don't go down there. There's not enough freight down there for me to spin my wheels down there. Um, I mean, there's a lot of steel in Kentucky, a lot of freight, but for what I do, it's, it, there's not that much. Uh, for my company and my lane, you know, my lane's Detroit to Indy. Uh, I just, I stay away from Kentucky. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, so as long as you've got at least a three axle cluster or a 310 spread, or even a four or six and eight, you can do whatever in Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. They all uh, recognize those axles, but Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky max out at 120,000. That's it. I mean, you can go more than that, but then you're talking police escorts and, you know, bigger, more expensive permits. But as far as your standard overweight moving steel, 120 is cap in, in those three states. So if you've got an eight axle trader and you're taking a load down to Kentucky, you're only pulling like 65, 67,000 pounds because it puts you 120,000 because those axles each weigh about 2,500 pounds. Uh, if it's a lift axle, it's like, I think, 1,800 if it's a standard down axle. But if it's a lift axle, it's like 2,500 pounds per. Uh, now, that being said, my, my trailer is, of course, a 410 spread. We'll call it like this, a 410 spread. But what I'm going to do, and this is strictly a dollars thing. It, it, it'll make sense once I explain it. I'm going to put two more axles under my trailer and make it a Michigan sled. So I got a 410 spread. I'm going to put a, a full permanent axle here. So I'll have a three cluster of down axles. Then I'm going to put another lift axle there. So these first three will lift up and down, and the second three will be full down. So it'll be six axles clustered, or five axles clustered, with a nine foot gap and then a single axle, or a 10 foot gap, single axle. So it'll be a, it'll be a cluster of five with a space and then six. Now the reason, why would I want to make my trailer hauler heavier so I could haul less steel? The reason is the Indiana single trip permit to come out of like say Indianapolis and go up to Fort Wayne and out is like $200 now per load. It's utterly ridiculous, but they have a loophole in their law. If you have six axles or more, you get an annual entire year permit for 20 bucks. You do the math. I could spend about six grand, seven grand, pop two more axles up under that trailer because I already know right who to do it. And he's got used axles sitting out of the shop right now. I got these go say, I want that one and I want that one and put them on there. And just like that, it'll be done. Well, maybe a little longer than just like that, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, to go from literally spending thirty, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars a year on overweight permits in Indiana, I'll haul slightly less weight because I have more axles. But I'll buy a twenty-dollar permit, and I'm good for the entire year. So dollars to you know, when you start running it down on paper, it makes a lot of sense if you're running Michigan full time. Run a six axle trailer. Just it's a lot cheaper on permits. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the breakdown of the, of the, of the axles and the, and the permit overweight for hauling. And it's not just steel. I mean, I, they, they, I actually see uh, Werner has reefers coming in and out of like Toledo to Michigan. Toledo to Detroit is where I see them. And they're running four axle 53 foot reefers. I thought, man, that, that's ballsy to put that much weight on a box. <laughs> they're not really built for that, but I'm sure they've beefed it up somehow. But I see them all the time up there doing it. But uh, yeah, yeah, just quick video on the on the weights. But don't forget to get the permits, boys, because if you if you uh, if you either don't have a permit and you get caught, they're gonna they're gonna charge you. I think it's like a nickel a pound, so it gets real expensive real fast. Uh, 
Ask me how I know. <laughs> I got pulled over in Ohio one day and my in, my quarterly permit had expired the week before and I didn't catch it. It's when I was under my own authority. Did not catch it. I got pulled over in a random inspection. I weighed 100 and I think I was at 106, 102 to 106,000 pounds. I'm only, without a permit, I'm only legal for 80. So yeah, that was like, uh, I think I was a $2,300 fine. It's like, oops. <laughs> Go home, write a check, man. What are you going to do? Cost to do a business. So I went home, wrote a check. <laughs> then made sure I had my permit. But yeah, you don't want to get caught without a permit. That gets real expensive real fast. In Michigan, they pulled a buddy of mine over. He was over, um, he had a three axle and uh, he was waiting for a four axle, but he ran into Michigan, loaded like a four, but he only had three axles. And they, you know, weighed him. They actually made him call a towing company to come pull some of the load off. He had a load of bars, so bundles of bars. He had to pull one bundle of bars off that trailer before they'd let him go deliver it. And then he had to come back to the towing company, pick up that second bundle of bars or that, you know, single bundle and go back and deliver that. And uh, all together, it was like $5,000 worth of fines. I mean, it gets real pricey real fast. <laughs> but, uh, so you, you always want to try to follow them, follow them rules, or you know, if you're not following them, get real good at not getting caught. <laughs> good advice. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to do a quick video on weights, and hopefully that all makes sense. But if you're getting into heavy hauling, you got more questions, by all means, man, we'll uh, we'll set something up, ask them in the comment section there. And uh, guys, while I got you here, I wanted to say, 460 or 476 people have subscribed to this channel. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I greatly appreciate it. And I, if we can get 30, what is that? 34, 35 more people to subscribe. I hit that magic 500 subscription number and I can actually put a commercial like at the end or something and maybe buy a cheeseburger with a couple of bucks. <laughs> but uh, I thank you, every one of you that subscribed and all the questions you're putting out there. I really appreciate it. Uh, I kind of, you know, I started doing this channel as a hobby, a way to give back. And it, it seems to be growing kind of exponentially, man. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. I like doing it. <laughs> but anyway, I'll catch y'all later. You have a good weekend.